Hello everyone, Elrond here with part 3 of my NGN Dark Souls run. So I decide not to deal with uh, the Black Knight. I'm going to just uh, kind of skip past him. And this is actually good on multiple levels, uh, technically speaking, because A, he's going to be tough to beat at this point. And B, and kind of the bigger thing, is um, he um, drops some good stuff rarely. So um, if you had item discovery, um, then things would be much better. Um, you get item discovery from a certain ring, a certain headpiece, um, and uh, also uh, with humanity. If you have 10 humanity um, uh, in liquid form, so not like the four that I had in my pocket right there, but actually having it be in the, um, the number next to the health and stamina, if that number is 10 or higher, then you're going to get a uh, maximum benefit on item discovery, which is basically like magic find in um, other games. And then, for some reason, I go back into a phase of wanting to fight this guy. Um, but that's like, wait, no, I decided about the item discovery, so I want to skip him, but... Um, yeah, in any case... He should pretty much leave us alone by now. Um, so, over here, that, um... Ah, I was just about to use another pet name that I haven't explained yet, and I don't care to explain it just yet. So, on this uh, corpse here was a set of leather, which is an upgrade. Uh, technically speaking, to our starting uh, equipment. But more importantly, there was the longbow. The longbow is going to serve as our bow of choice um, until we get the um, composite bow um, in New Londo Ruins. And we can't do that until we can drain the water. And it'll be a while before we can do that. Um, and, yeah. The... That was kind of pointless. My pyromancies are way too slow at this point. I don't have anywhere near enough dexterity to kill a crystal lizard with a pyromancy at this point. But at least, at least the, um, but at least it's not like Demon Souls where that was a waste of a finite resource. Um, letting him run away like that. Um, in Dark Souls one and two, at least. Um, those guys will infinitely spawn until you succeed in killing it. Um, then it'll um, stop spawning there until um, the next um, version of the game. So uh, ramping up to NG+, plus, um, in this particular case. Um, so, basically... If you know you're incapable of killing it, you can literally just walk by it and not worry. Because it'll be there next time. And it'll be pretty much the same one that you left behind before. Um, so these trees are kind of a hassle early on. Um, they don't seem to want to die too easily to my um, axe. And it takes two casts of pyromancy because I haven't upgraded my um, glove yet. Oh yeah, I'm going to call the pyromancy flame the uh, glove or pyromancy glove and stuff like that. Um, that's another one of my pet name. Uh, yeah, pet names. And oh yeah, the uh, pet name that I didn't really want to get into just yet. Um, you'll find me. Uh, probably occasionally calling random corpses that have items on it um, that were just spawned in the environment. I'll probably call those wanking warriors. Um, 
It's kind of a joke um, about the various names of the consumable souls that are frequently on those corpses. You know, soul of a brave knight, uh, such and such this, and a such and such that. Um, uh, my circles started to joke around saying that uh, there was going to be um, like a really weak soul, like one that has like five souls, is like soul of a wanking warrior. And given the fact that most of these stupid, you know, environment corpses only have those and, you know, they're mainly just to bait you into doing something stupid, um, it's kind of just been the code name for an environment corpse. So, um, um, basically, if I see a corpse in the environment, I'll probably refer to it at some point as a wanking warrior. And so now we have essentially completed the full circle, which has allowed us to skip the Taurus Demon and the Red Dragon that guards the Sunbro Bridge. Um, because we took this particular route... Um, oh yeah, this didn't really work out too well. This guy got to drink his Erlenmeyer then... I can't quite kill that guy, so he gets to drink his Erlenmeyer. Um, I really don't like the axe. It's not a weapon with the kind of move set that I'm uh, accustomed to, or, or care to really um, embrace. Although I'm surprised, because in this particular playthrough, um, I end up making do with it pretty well. Um, But, in any case, so then we've got ourselves um, a um, mini-boss. Um, my circles call various guys that don't respawn mini-bosses. So we call this guy a mini-boss, and then um, the channeler upstairs, that would also be called a mini-boss because he doesn't respawn. And, oh yeah, by the way... Um, the pet name for Channeler is Lazarus, so I will be calling those guys Lazarus. Um, that is a tribute to Diablo 1. Um, the Channelers kind of look like the Archbishop Lazarus uh, towards the end of the game. Uh, so that's how that got its name. Um, so we killed that first mini-boss. Um, and there's a Firekeeper's Soul over there um, on the altar to the right. I kind of don't get it. I'm kind of uh, too busy thinking about uh, how Lazarus will uh, snipe me. So instead, I take the elevator down to Firelink, which now makes the elevator operational. So we have our first major shortcut. Um, and that's going to let us not need to do um, Undead Berg from the Aqueduct side. Which means we'll get to uh, keep that uh, dragon from ever bothering us until we decide we want to kill him. Um, Alright, so we got ourselves a, um, a rapier balder guy. Um, I forget if these guys drop S-Docs or just rapiers, but it doesn't matter. S-Docs rapier enough to just call it a rapier. Um, so now we're going to try to bait Lazarus's posse um, into uh, coming over. And I was kind of hoping that Lazarus would stay put, but he decides to f uh, chase along as well. Um, but the good news is he does kind of get himself stuck in a corner, and everybody else kind of gets stuck behind him. So I got, got a lucky break there. It probably won't be as lucky of a break for you, uh, frankly. Um, that's going to be it for this video. I will see you next video. Good luck, have fun.